Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got another quick tip for you here today. So we're gonna be talking about how to erase your Mac's hard drive. Now, there are many reasons why you may wanna do this, but probably the most common reason is you no longer need your old computer and you maybe are going to sell it or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to erase your Mac's hard drive. So if you're logged into your computer, what you wanna do is hit on the restart. Now, if your computer's not on, then you just you know, turn it on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart it. And when it boots up, we're going to hit the Command and R key. And what that's gonna do is allow us to boot into the recovery mode. Now, as soon as you see the Apple logo, you wanna hold down that Command and R. And you want to keep holding it down until you see the loading bar appear. Okay, so now we can let it go. And now we're gonna boot into the recovery mode. Okay, so when you boot into the recovery mode, you're gonna be greeted with this macOS utilities window. And you can see there are four options here. We can uh, restore from a time machine backup, reinstall macOS, get online help, or go into the disk utility. So what we wanna do is go into the disk utility, hit continue, and now you're gonna be taken into disk utility just like you would if you were on your desktop. So to erase your hard drive, you should see it over here on the left hand side and you just wanna click on it. And when you click on it, you'll see it right here. And then all you gotta do is just click on the erase button. And when you do that, it'll say erase Macintosh HD. So it's very important to note, of course, that this is gonna erase everything. So if you have anything you wanna save, uh, you need to back it up before uh, you decide to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. You just wanna leave the same name there and you wanna make sure that it says Mac OS Extended Journal right here in this drop-down menu. Now, if you wanna go a little step further here, you can go to the security options and you can actually choose between fastest and most secure, or you can kind of choose uh, just a little bit along here. So it's actually interesting to read some of these. You can see on most secure, it actually says this option meets the US Department of Defense standard for securely erasing magnetic media. And I actually tried this one one time and it literally took all day to do it. So you can kind of make your decision on which one of these you want to do. If you're selling it, you probably just want to do most secure, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the fastest one. It still erases everything. So you just choose your option there. And then once you do that, simply click erase and it is going to erase it. So now you just wait and this shouldn't take too long, but you know, well, depending on the option you uh, picked, it shouldn't take too long for me, but if you picked most secure, prepare to be waiting for a very long time. But yeah, you can see that it's already done and that didn't take long at all. So we can go ahead and hit done and that's it. Your disc is now completely erased. So what you want to do now is get out of the disc utility and now you need to reinstall Mac OS. So click on that, hit continue, and it's going to load up the Mac OS installation wizard. Now for my purposes, this is High Sierra. And you just wanna go through this like you would on any installation. So you just hit continue right there, and you're gonna give it a second here, and I believe it should bring up the terms and conditions. Yep, so just hit agree on those, and hit agree, and then you just choose your uh, hard drive that you just erased here and hit install. And then it may ask you to connect to a power source. But yeah, that's it. You just simply install it like that. And once this gets done, it'll boot you into the setup wizard uh, for Mac OS. So from that point on, you can, you know, go ahead and safely uh, get rid of your computer to, you know, somebody else or, you can just leave it uh, like a brand new computer. It'll be the setup wizard for Mac OS. So that is pretty much it. Just this quick video today, uh, I'm telling you this. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video.